Hello, my name is Tony, Tony King, and I, uh, I'm 57 years old. I had an aneurysm, actually, and I had that in 2009. It has totally changed my life. When I first had my, my um, aneurysm, uh, I don't remember a whole lot. Um, it was the night of my 45th birthday. A very bad headache when I went to bed, and I don't... I don't remember much after that. My, my partner was telling me that um, I actually got up from the bed and went and got the phone because it was in the, in the kitchen. We had just moved into this place and it was in the kitchen. So I must have gotten the phone, took it back to the bedroom, dialed 911 and collapsed. When uh, the paramedics got there, um, it was like two o'clock in the morning, I think. and. Everybody was asleep, so they were banging on the door, and uh, my partner went and answered the door, and they said that somebody had called 911. She said no, and sent them away. When she came back down the hall, she said she heard me breathing, and it didn't sound right, so she went and got the paramedics again, and they came in. She rolled me over, and I was laying on the phone. I ended up having to go to Vancouver and having a surgery. Uh, that's when they found out that it was an aneurysm, it was in the brainstem, and that uh, affected my eyesight. It affected my um, cognitive ability. My short-term memory is awful. Um, I can tell you what happened, you know, 20, 30 years ago, but I can't tell you what I did yesterday. And when I got home, uh, I had a lot of pain. Uh, chronic pain in my head and neck from all the surgeries that I had. I must have had three or four surgeries. Um, and that was very hard on, on, on me, on my partner at the time, and my son. My son was three at the time. My, my wife couldn't do it anymore, so we became a statistic um, of brain injury, and um, my marriage ended, and it was... Uh, that was very, very hard. Trying to get used to being by myself after we were married for, well, we were together for about 15 years, married for 12 or 13. It was very hard to, to try and figure out what am I gonna do now? My wife and I and my, our son came up here in 2009. No, I'm sorry, 2007. And um, before that, I was we were living in Texas. I was working as um, an old, um, an operating room technician and I was working in labor and delivery and that's where I met my wife I was in labor and delivery and um, so we were delivering babies and oh it was awesome hearing a baby cry for the first time what so I, um, I had gone to school for that so that's what I was doing before we came up here once we got up here I had applied for all my visas and all that fun stuff to work and I didn't get a chance to, to really start working. That's when I had my aneurysm. The most challenging um, has been when I had the aneurysm, it affected my eyesight and my balance. And that's where I'm having my biggest issues. Um, I have to walk with, with sticks so I can make sure I don't fall over. Um, my eyesight, I see double, I have a double vision thing going on right now. I've had a couple of surgeries for that, and I need to have another one. Um, as far as my balance is concerned, yeah, I fall over, but I get back up and life is good. I think, for me, the, the, the thing that would make, make it easier is if, when I disclose that I do have a brain injury, I try and let people know, look, I, I have a brain injury, and if you can slow down just a little bit when you're talking to me, that would be great. Um, if you're going to try and explain something to me, just give me a second to process. Sometimes I do feel like I'm stupid, and people make me feel that way sometimes. I don't let it affect me as, as like I used to. My mental health suffered quite a bit, um, mostly because of the isolation. Um, and then COVID hit, and that didn't help either. Um, I've had to learn how to navigate this place that we live, this beautiful place that we live. It's been a very anxiety-ridden kind of 
journey. Every day it's a every day it's a fight. It's not a huge fight, but it is a fight. I'm trying to get through the day. What gives me hope um, is doing things like this, um, getting the word out. Working with V, this has been the, the most rewarding thing for me. Um, and talking with people and um, doing these interviews and, 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 and just getting the word out there that, yeah, we're here. And, you know, we're not, we're not stupid. We're not crazy. We're just trying to get a little help.